I'm going to try today to take a painful walk back in time to 1999. Jamie was a straight A student, good looking 17 year old, captain of his school hockey team, lots of friends. It seemed like he had the whole world in his life ahead of him. Except that on November 16th, 1999, Jamie came home from school because he had a double lunch. He had just finished his homework and something happened. I wish I knew. But obviously he had so much pain and the pain overwhelmed him and he didn't know how or that he even could reach out to his close family or his friends or his teammates or his teacher. He just knew that the pain, he just knew that the pain he was in was unbearable. In a split second, in a moment of time, that decided that the only way to end that pain was to take his life. I've asked myself why. I'll always ask that question. I'll ask myself why as a close family, he couldn't tell us. We would have helped him. We would have helped him along, and so would the many of others. His teachers, his friends, his schoolmates. If only he could have asked. He didn't know how. We now know that. He knew that he had to make his pain go away in that moment of time. Ah, but for a moment in time. But knowing my son, he would say, why bother and burden others with this? There is no way anyone can help because all he saw was darkness all around him. And all he saw was darkness. That's all that was in sight. Today, Jamie is 30. On the 30th, the champagne anniversary. To him I toast. If Jamie could communicate with us, he would say that he should be here with his family and a family of his own, along and enjoying his extended family, except that he knows for that to happen, he would have to take back that moment in time on November 16th, 1999. I'll be fine. In death, Jamie brought a lot of pain and guilt into our lives, into lives of everybody he touched. And in time, and over time, we will learn and have learned to cope in our own ways. You know he's looking down. How else do you get a day like today? He knows he can't take it back, but he also knows now that others can and will be helped. And that and that there is a way when we freely talk about depression and suicidal thoughts when that moment in time hits. His death is not in vain, and he now knows that. He sees that here. He sees the love, the joy, the smiles, the laughs we all shared at the golf course today. What we share here tonight, he looks down and he sees it. Today we share in a celebration of life, our life, and all those around us. And I know that Jamie is amongst us with one big smile, knowing that all of us here are learning in life, that we all need each other in our human community to help us when we need it most. A community that understands that mental health is an illness, is a disease, disease just like cancer, but an illness with nearly 100% survival rate when treated quickly. So thank you for today. And thank you for sharing and help us to strike down the stigma associated with mental health. Thank you. <laughs>